Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today, let's talk about finding a vector function for the line segment from a point four three to another point one negative two. Okay, so how do we find this vector function for this line segment? What we want to do is that we are going to come up with the vector function, the general form of the vector function for a line segment first, and then we'll base on that function, then we'll figure out each part so that we can come up with this function. Okay, so let's just recall something here first. So um, if we recall a vector function for a line segment, we know that that's still going to be similar, really similar to the vector function for a line in the space, right? So in that case, we are gonna use R naught, right? And then plus T times V. And so let's just recall uh, what each part represents. So you know that this R naught right here, this is actually the position vector, okay? This is the position vector of the point, of a point on the line, right? So it doesn't matter which point that you choose. So you can choose one of those two points. So the position vector of a point on the line. In this case, it will be the line segment. Um, so when we say that it's a position vector of a point, that's really just saying that the, the vector, the, <clears throat> it's pointing to that point. Okay. So it's initial point is actually at the origin, but it's terminal point or it's head is actually pointing toward that point. So in this case, we actually have two choices. Um, but for this problem, because there is a direction that we require, right? Because we are going from this point to the other point. So we can use this one as the initial point. So what we want really is that this point right here, right? This point here is that we call this the initial point. And then, so what about the second point here? The one that comes after the two, right? To this point, so that we can call that the terminal point in this case, right, for the line segment. So we go from this point to that point. Okay, so now what about the V? The V is actually the direction vector. Okay, so the V is the direction vector. And the direction vector is really just saying that, okay, so um, that's the vector that's parallel to the line. Uh, in this case, because we have a direction for the line segment, so we got to go from this point to that point. So to construct the direction vector, we would have to use the terminal point subtracting the initial point so that we can get this direction vector. Okay, so now we are basically ready, but this is only the vector function for a line, not for a line segment. So in order for us to get a line segment, we actually need to cut off the line from both ends so that we can get a line segment. So in this case, we are actually going to be adding a condition or restriction for the T. So we are going to set the restriction for the T and T is being bounded by zero and one, right? Including zero and one. Okay, so now that's the line segment general form for a vector function. So we are going to now just start constructing this function. Okay, so what do we get here? We are going to write down this position vector first, which would be just taking our initial point. Okay, so that would be four, three. Okay, now what about the direction vector? The direction vector is going to be what? We take the terminal point. In this case, it would be one, right? So take the X value of the terminal point and then now subtract the X value of the initial point. So we get minus four. Actually, let me just highlight the color so that it's easier for us to see what's going on. So one, right, which comes from here. And then we got to do the subtraction, subtract the, the uh, x value of the initial point, which is the four, the comma. And then now the second component, the y component would be taking the negative two, right? So negative two. And then now subtract, subtract what? The y value of the initial point, which is a three. So we subtract the three. 
And so now if you do the calculation, then you are going to get the direction vector. So we are going to be getting, what is that? That's going to be uh, minus three and then minus five. So now we have a point on the line. We have a um, the direction vector. Then we are ready to write down the vector function for the line segment. Okay, so our final answer, right, would be R of T is equal to the R naught, which is the four, three, okay? And then plus, the, there is the parameter t, and then now the direction vector, let's just put it there. So we are going to get negative three, negative five. Okay, don't forget that there is a restriction for the parameter t, but we are gonna put it later. Let's simplify this equation first. I mean, let's simplify this right-hand side First. So we are going to be getting R of T on the left side, and then we have 4, 3, plus negative 3, T, negative 5, T, and then now add the two vectors together. Then we are going to be getting, what is that? That's going to be 4 minus 3, T, 3 minus 5, T. And then now we have a two-dimensional vector that's in the plane, and that's a line segment from this point to that point. And don't forget, we have restrictions for the T. Okay, so just, just uh, do a quick check, right? So you can plug in the zero in here. So you're putting, putting the zero into the T, then what happens? We get four, we get three. So that's our initial point. And once you start increasing the T and then when you end at one, so you plug the one into the T here, then you plug the one in here, you get four minus three, which is one. And then you put the one here, you get three minus five, which is negative two. So that will give us the terminal point. Okay, so that's how we come up with this vector function for the line segment, right? Okay, so uh, to help me make more uh, make math learning available to everyone, please share my videos to others and subscribe to my channel. It will give me more support and make more videos. Let's work together to help students and children learn math more easily. Thank you for watching this video.